until today. So in 2004, there was a contest to design a way to rehabilitate the area and it was important that the designs not try to flatten the mountain or erase it from existence. Instead, the mountain became a center of point which allowed the history of the landfill to educate Israelis and visitors from around the world that people can learn from the past mistakes and not to do it in the future. Next, So, yan po yung mga high tech nila na na recycle ng kanilang garbage as of today. At yun po yung dating garbage nila and they are rehabilitating it at yun po ang kanabasan ngayon. So, sino pong mag-i-imagine na itong mountain of rubbish will become like that? Yun po, na, na, nagiging green na po yung rubbish nila. They are making it into a park. Yung dating garbage, yan na po ang labas ngayon. So, it's, no, 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 it's really impossible, the work, the, the work is really impossible to do, but you know what? Thank God for wisdom that He gives to His people. He can create something, right? Yan yung naging ito ang ilabasan niya, pero hindi pa yan, ito ang outcome ngayon yung ginagawa nila. Tapos ang Matatapos lang ito in 2020, ang yung totally na park siya. At ang sabi ko na, it will be the largest park in Israel and one of the largest urban parks in the world. So yan po ang dating 20, uh, 2020, 2020. Yan, 20,000. So yan ang labasan. So, Napakalalabasan. Di po ba ang nakamanghamangha ang ating Panginoon? Kung sa Pilipinas po, sana gawin din yung Smoky Mountain natin ng gano'n. No? Wala din yung mga posible, no? So it's really, thank God for giving wisdom to His people that they were able to transform the garbage mountain into area of beauty and usefulness. Thank God. Thank the Lord also that His plans and purposes for Israel are being fulfilled as the desert blooms. Sabi po sa Isaiah 35.1, The wilderness in the wasteland shall be glad for them, and the desert shall rejoice in blossom as the rose. Amen. So, God is really good. So, let's pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.